All right, we're going to divide by uh, two digit divisors using the distributive property method. All right, first we're going to go ahead and estimate. So uh, I'm going to round 54 to 50. And I will, that's my divisor. So I'm going to round um, 36 to 35,000. And so I got an easy problem here. 35,000 divided by, so 35 divided by 5 equals 7. And I have three zeros minus one zero is two zeros. So whatever answer I get will be somewhere close to 700. All right. Now, to do the distributive property method, what we're going to do is we're going to draw a line down the side here. And we're just going to systematically take big chunks out of this number. Um, by multiplying something times 54 that will fit into uh, 36,565. So the easiest, the easiest way to do this would be to uh, use, um, use powers of 10 because it's easy to multiply by 1. Um, so if I, if I multiplied by 10,000, I'm sorry, if I multiplied by 1,000, um, I would get 54,000, which is going to be larger than 36,000. So I'm not going to use 1,000. I'm going to go ahead and use 100. So if I multiplied by 100, I would get 5,400. And the only reason I'm using 100, see, the distributed property um, method is actually quite flexible. Um, we don't have to have the exact amount that goes in it because we're just going to be subtracting until it's all gone. So I take 5,400 out of here, so I'm going to subtract. I get 31,165 left. So I can take... Um, Another hundred out of uh, another five thousand four hundred that'll definitely fit in there. Um, so let's do that again. And subtract again. So I have seven, and then I have. I got 25 more. Okay, I can see that um, that I'm going to be taking quite a bit of these out. So uh, the thing about the distributed property is you can actually be flexible. I don't have to just do hundreds the whole way. Um, I, it looks like I can fit. Uh, I would say at least, even if you want to take three out at a time. Let's try three. So 300. So, but then you just have to do a little math, which is, you know, that's why I was sticking to 100 because it's easier, but we can do the math. So three times four, yeah, here, let's just do it over here. Uh, we got 54 times 300. Uh, we got 12, carry the one, 15, 16, and two zeros. So I can see that that's still gonna fit in there. It's still less. And I'm going to subtract 6, and I got 5, and then we have uh, 9. Now I'm looking at that, and I can fit just one more, one more 5,400 in there. So I'm going to go ahead and put a, thousand, I put a hundred over here so I can have 5,400 again. Subtract again. And now I'm not going to be able to use 100 again because, um, because you can see it's, it's going to be larger than this number. So I'm going to pick, uh, I, could, I could do another um, power of 10. I can just do 10. But if I just do 10, I know I'm going to get 540, right? Well, let's just go ahead and do it. Let's do 10. 10 times uh, 54 is 540. So I go ahead and subtract. And I have 
five and two and we got forty I got six and three so thirty six so I'm looking at let's see how many times um, again the flexibility of the distributed property means I can go ahead and take a bigger chunk out of there so I'm looking at five I'm out of I'm gonna go ahead and just go with uh, 50 so uh, five times four oh, here let's just over here 54 times 50 so five times four is 20 carry the two five times five 25 plus two 27 and I have another zero so I can take 2700 out of here Whereas traditional um, long division, you have to be really exact. You have you can't be too high or too low. This one, all you got to be is too low, and you can just keep going until the number is all gone. So we have uh, two here. So there is nine twenty-five left. I know I can take one more five forty out of that. So I'm going to go ahead and multiply. Over here, put another 10 here. And I have 540. Subtract, I have 5. 12 minus 4 is 8. And 3. So I have 385. I'm no longer going to be able to use 10s because uh, 540 is larger than that. So now I'm going to go to the one down to the ones place. And now how many 54s can fit into 385? Well, uh, again, you can go ahead and just take a couple out of there. doesn't have to be exact as long as it's lower than this number. So I'm going to go ahead and say that let's do, um, let's just do 5 again. Um, 5 times 4 is 20. Carry the 2. 5 times 5 is 25, 27, so 270. So then I'm going to go ahead and subtract. I have 5 and 1 and 1. So I have 115. Uh, I think I can take two more of those out, two more 54s out of there. So I'm just going to put a 2 there. 2 times 4 is 8, and 2 times 5 is 10. Uh, subtract again. I have seven. So I just have seven. And I'm not going to be able to take any more out, so um, any more 54s out, so I'm going to have a remainder of seven. Remainder of seven. So all we have to do now is add all of this up, and that's going to be our quotient with a remainder of seven. So we're going to go 300, 400, 500, 600, 600, 60, 70, 677. So it's going to be 677 with a remainder of 7.